Welcome to our lesson on factorising expressions involving powers. So we're going to begin by factorising the expression in question A, where we have r cubed multiplied by t plus r t squared. And to identify the common factors, I'm going to write this out the long way, which is r multiplied by r multiplied by r multiplied by t plus r times t squared. Now we can see that this r is common with this r, so this would go on be outside of our brackets, and this t is common with this t, so we also have a t on the outside. And we're left with these two r's here, which are r squared, and this t on the other side, so r squared plus t. And for question b, we know that 2 is common to the 6 and the 8, so we can write this as 2 multiplied by 3 to make the 6, multiplied by w, and again, multiplied by y, take away 2 times 4 to make the 8, multiplied by another w, and y squared. Now we can see that the 2 is common, so this would go on the outside. A w is also common, so a w joins for 2, and a y is common, so we have a y on the outside. And on the inside of our brackets, we have the remaining terms, which are 3w minus 4y. Do you want to try and factorise the expressions in question C and D? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So for question C, we can see that 3AB is a common factor of both terms. We'll multiply the 3 by 3 to make the 9, and then A to make the A squared, and we have the B term here. And to make 6AB squared, we have the common factor multiplied by 2B. So because 3AB is common, and this goes on the outside, with 3A minus the 2B, on the inside. And for question D, we can see that 4m and n squared is the common factor. We multiply this by 2 to make this term minus the common factor multiplied by m squared to make this term. And because these are common, we'll write these on the outside with the 2 minus m squared on the inside. Okay, do you want to know try questions E and F? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So for question E, we can see that 4 is common to the 8 and the 20. u squared is common to the u cubed and u squared. And c is common to c squared and c. So 4 u squared c is our common factor. We multiply it by 2uc to make this term, and we have a common factor, and we multiply, which we multiply by the 5 to make this term. So we have 4u squared c on the outside, with 2uc minus 5 on the inside. And for question f, we can see 7 is the common factor of 21 and 49 y is the common factor of y squared and y, and n is the common factor of n and n squared. So we multiply this by 3 to make the 21, y to make the y squared, minus the common factor, which we multiply by the 7 to make 49, and the n to make the n squared. We have 7yn on the outside, with 3y minus 7n on the inside. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.